Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is where you are. Today, we're doing a DIY sugar wax thing. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. So first, we're going to start with a half a cup of sugar. Half, not a whole. Then we're going to go two tablespoons of lemon. Then we're going to go ahead and go with two tablespoons of water. And we're going to go ahead and mix it all together. Mix it all together. What show is that? Oh. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn our heat on to medium high and we're going to go ahead and keep on stirring our nice little beautiful mixture. Ooh, look how beautiful it is. Do not stop stirring while it's inside the pan because it will burn. Uh, I, it's happened before and I've burnt myself. So be careful with that, okay? But we're going to go ahead and wait until the whole mixture is turns brown turns brown not white not green not yellow don't turn to brown okay and remember keep stirring but if it gets too bubbly and you can't tell what color it is you can turn down the heat like I said earlier and just continue to mix it and once it turns a nice golden brown you're all set and go ahead and take it off the stove don't turn off the heat take it off the stove and continue to mix it mixture is nice and brown and it's a little frothy but you're going to continue to stir it with a spoon and try to keep it on one side you're going to keep folding kind of folding the mixture until it starts to get nice and like sticky hard not super hard but like kind of soft hard so after it turns to that you're going to get a bowl of water you're going to dip your hands in it you're going to take some of that sugar wax and you're going to put it in your hand and make sure it's not too hot but it's going to be a little hot but that's why we have the water so dip your hands in water not too much because you don't want to soak your hands and mess up the mixture but go ahead and take the ball of sugar you're going to go ahead and fold it you're going to try to roll it into a little ball and knead it you're going to knead it like you know how you knead dough and stuff until it gets like a nice little opaque I think that's how you say the word, color. And yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the sugar wax. Before we go ahead and apply the sugar wax, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can store your extra wax. So you're gonna go ahead and get some olive oil um, from the kitchen or wherever, and you put it at the bottom of the bowl and you take a paper towel or your hands or whatever to rub it all around the bowl so that when you put it in there, it won't stick. You can just take it right out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some baby powder. You can use cornstarch. One time I used baking soda. Just anything to get the excess like oils and stuff off of wherever you're applying your sugar wax. I'm using my arm today, you know, just for example, cause I ain't showing you my legs. They, 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 look, they look a little messy right now. But as you can see, my arm is very hairy. So when you apply it, you, it you'll see your hair. You'll see it. You can see mine, you'll see it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to up, take the sugar wax and we're going to apply it. Now this is where you have this is where you have to listen. You're going to apply it the opposite direction of where your arm hair is going. This step is very important because if not, it's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you right here what I'm talking about. My arm hair is going more towards the right, it's facing the right when you brush it down and you're gonna go against where your hair is going and you're going to flick it towards where your hair is going using your wrist. So flick the wrist, flick the wrist baby, flick the wrist. As you see, you probably can't see it but I got, got some hair off. Ah, baby girl got some hair, trust and believe. But it's gonna get a little messy but you just keep, that's why you have the powder on your arm so that you can keep it from sticking. On your hand might get a tiny bit messy, but I probably should have cooked it longer, but it's all right. But you're gonna go ahead and go against the grain and then you're gonna flick towards the hair, okay? There you go. And I'm, I'm trying to show you, but I don't know if you can see, but I'll show you at the end my arm. I got a decent amount of hair off. It might take you a little, a little time to finally get as much as you can, but it's totally worth it because 
it takes a long, long time. Long time for my hair to grow back. Like, longer than sh- shaving, my hair comes back the same day. But waxing is very helpful, and it exfoliates your skin, actually, while you're pulling the hair off. That's why when you use sugar waxing, the color of the wax starts to turn, like, a more whitish or, like, opaque. More opaque. So, because it's pulling off the dead skin. So, after, your skin will be baby smooth. But, yeah. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and it helped you guys, you know, get that baby straw smooth skin on shine. So, you guys have a good evening, good afternoon, and happy Sunday. It's not even Sunday. Goodbye.